Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here from HeyNancyTaylor.com and on this channel you will see videos about teaching online, growing your brand, and becoming the best version of you. And in today's video, we are going to be going over the three steps to start teaching independently, like on your own, with your own brand. Okay, yay. <laughs> Let's jump into the video, no further explanation. Now, eight years ago, nine years ago now, when I was first married to my husband, it was our first year of marriage, and he was doing his flight training. And in his flight training, to get your private pilot license, you do your training with your instructor, you go on flights, you do a bunch of research and learning on the books, so you'll do in class, then you'll do the in the airplane, in a tiny airplane. And during this private pilot license training, you have to, to get this license, you have to go on a solo flight. And I remember Dave coming to me, my solo flight is this date. And I was like, what? Do you even know how to fly an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, exhilarating, nerve wracking, and it could be very deadly. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing to go independent, to go on your own? And I remember just the amount of effort that goes into something in your training, knowing that you have to do it on your own, you're going to be much more focused. You're going to be paying really close attention while you're in that airplane and learning how to fly it. You are not going to be like zoning out and thinking about what you're gonna have for lunch because you're gonna to have to fly that airplane by yourself. It has huge risk but huge reward and you do have to do it on your own and you do it you pass it off and then it just becomes like a habit you you fly and then you're the flight instructor it's just a beautiful thing because then once you've done your flight and you have that training then you can get your next license and you can be a flight instructor and you can teach others how to fly an airplane so now you're the one responsible for them learning I love that analogy because of how it transitions into teaching and when you teach for a company or you teach for a brand, maybe you teach in the mainstream classroom, and then you decide you're feeling pulled to teach independently, to go on your own. And as you have the skill set, you develop the skill set here in your training, and as you are teaching for a company, you're ready to go solo. You're ready to go on your solo flight. And it can be scary, there can be many unknowns, however, you've done the work, you've done the training, you have the experience, you're ready to go. Now, when you are going independent, it does not mean that it is easy. It is going to be a lot of work, there will be mistakes, there will be things that you don't have to deal with when you work for a company. However, think about the possibilities. There is no ceiling. You could be earning 100, 200, 300 dollars an hour and more if you choose to start building building a brand of your own and going independent. So let's jump into the three steps to build a brand of your own and to start teaching independently, meaning on your own, not connected to another company. You ready? You ready? Let's go. In the three steps, we're going to be covering these three common questions I hear often with teachers going independent. Number one, what do I teach? How do I know what to teach? Number two, how do I set the entire thing up? What does the whole system look like from start to finish? How do I set it up? And number three, this big one, how do I market? How do I find my students? Okay, I can set everything up, I can do my curriculum, I can do all that, but how in the world, where in the world, do I, where in the world do I find my students? We are going to be covering those three questions in the next three steps. Question number one, what do I teach? So first of all, you gotta dive into yourself. You have to think of what you are an expert in. What do you enjoy doing? What are you passionate about? What do you read about? What do you love to learn about? What do you do well? And that could be your zone of genius, something you're an expert in. Not only do I want to find a topic and category that I'm an expert in, a specific niche, but I also need to validate that there is a market for it. So I need to do some market research. This could be having three people that you call up on the phone or on a Zoom call, or you schedule this call to see what is their specific need. Or if they have a child that you're looking to teach that age group, you could ask them specifics on what they struggle with or what would really benefit them. Another form of market research could be you look at other teachers, what are they teaching? And if they're teaching a topic that you enjoy and it's in that same niche, maybe you could be a little bit more specific and you could have a little bit less competition because you are extra specific. So you niche down to blow up. 
So you need to do some research on if there is a market. And sometimes you're not sure. You're like, I don't know if this has ever been taught before. I don't know if there's a market for it. And so perhaps you will be talking with parents. You'll be seeing if they're interested in it. And if they're not, maybe you could adjust and pivot a little bit. Now you also need to make some other decisions. Will you be doing live classes or will you have a recorded course that you sell and that they purchase? Will you be doing small classes, one-on-one -on -one classes? These decisions can be very simple to make. You just have to think of your schedule, what fits best for you and your family, and then you can create that system and create the platform and, and, and go from there. Now, all of these questions are in a guide that I have below, and I'll link it here in the iCard as well, so you can have those all spelled out. You don't have to just listen to me ramble on and write them down. They're also organized inside these three steps that I'm going over with you today in this video, but you just get a lot more explanation in the video style. So I hope that this is helpful and the fuzzies and the bugs. <laughs> So number one, what will you teach? Find what you love and you're passionate about and then also validate that topic by market research and researching what others are interested in. Then you can go through and make those decisions on live classes, what age group, you can make those decisions and even if you start with one age group, you might find that you like to work with a different age group. So what? Whatever you start with doesn't mean that you have to stick with it, but you do have to start somewhere. Number two, how do I set this all up? Now, you can have an official landing page, so this could be your website, and on your website, you could have a big, big selling point is testimonials, so once you get those, put those on your website. But what you can have on there is what you teach, and then how do they book a class with you? How do they get on your schedule? And a lot of times when you first get started, you're going to be direct messaging people, you're going to be talking to them one-on-one -on -one and letting them know about your services. And then as you grow, as more traffic is coming to your website, as more traffic is coming to you and your services, you will have people signing up that haven't already talked to you. So that will happen over time. It may take two months, three months, four months to find your first client, your first student, and then it goes exponentially, like word of mouth. And then maybe you get two students the next month and maybe you get three the following month. So it can grow quickly, but you do have to be patient as you're getting started. As you're starting this, you may want to be teaching for another online company while you are starting your own brand and business because then you have a mostly consistent paycheck while you are building some independent teaching on the side. And then while this builds and your clientele builds and grows and you stay focused on that specific niche, then perhaps you won't be teaching for an online company alongside it. Or maybe you always keep that one on the back burner. It could just always be a safety net. <laughs> if you will, but definitely be aware that it can take time to build your clientele, to build your student base. So after you have your landing page with the information, perhaps they will schedule on Calendly. That could be a really good platform to schedule one-on-one, -on -one. or if you have your own schedule with Zoom, you can have that on your website as well. It does not have to be perfect. Again, you might be starting with a couple students, so you could just automatically email them. Like you could skip the website, have no website. You have five students you're gonna start with. You email all of their parents and tell them, we are starting with our Zoom session on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. These are the times, and there you go. You get started from there, word of mouth. You share on Facebook, you share on Instagram, you let people know I'm doing tutoring and if you're interested, it closes at this time or this is when we teach, this is what I'm teaching, maybe it's a language, the sky's the limit. Another thing that you'll have to consider in this portion when you are getting everything set up, again, you can start with no website, no brand, no platform, it could be word of mouth, it could be you talking with people in direct messages, but as you are getting it set up, you do need to know how are you going to have parents pay you or if you are teaching adults, how are they going to pay you? You could set it up with PayPal, you could set it up with Stripe. Perhaps you'll have them purchase with SamCart. So if I have SamCart, then they make their purchase through there and it's automated. Now there's a little bit of a transaction fee and whatnot if you do use those platforms, if you use those, but it does hold a receipt and it's easy for like tax purposes. I use PayPal and Stripe. Some have asked like, what if I do Venmo? I would research and make sure that you would have all the materials you need, like giving receipts for making sure that it's not like family and friends, but it's business you have to have it under business, okay? So just something to be aware of is how will they pay for the services. 
Hey, it's me, interrupting myself. I just wanted to let you know that we have our live training going on right now. It is the three steps to build a profitable YouTube channel and the mistakes to avoid. I've taken my knowledge and experience and what I've learned in the past four years of building a profitable YouTube channel. I've been able to take my company from 20,000 a year up to 200,000 plus, and I've been so grateful for the tools that I have gained by building a YouTube channel. And so I have taken that knowledge and packed it into this free training. It is free, it is live. Check the description box for the times, for the dates, and how you can register. I'm out of breath. I'm so excited. If you cannot get into the live training, then sign up for one anyways, and you will get a recording of it if you can't make any of the live times. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to let you know that it's only available for a limited time, so check that description box. Okay, bye. Now you are getting to number three. Step number three, how do I market? Where do I find my students? I am going to give you a handful. Like, you went trick-or-treating and you'd like get home and you take your bag and you dump it out. And pfft, that's what I'm gonna give you right now. I just spit all over, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm going to share with you some marketing strategies where you can find your students. And I hope that you take these and implement them. Don't just write them down and say, I'll get to that later. Go and test them out. That is the biggest part is starting, is doing the work, is just doing it. Even though you don't know all the answers, it's okay. That's how you learn, is you start, you gain the experience. So I'm gonna go over these. First of all, you need to have an enticing topic or what you teach, you need to know. We already validated that in step number one, that your course topic or your teaching topic was validated, that there is a market for it. But make sure that you're targeting a pain point. So maybe it is homework time at home is really hard. How can you ease that as a tutor? How can you ease that? What are you an expert in with math? Maybe parents are so frustrated, like math is taught different than when I was in school and I can't even help my child. Oh, here I come in. I. I'm a math tutor, I tutor online, and this is my program. These are results from my students. I don't just come out of the gate with how much it costs. Okay, that comes in after I explain their pain point and the transformation that I offer. I'm going to ease their load. I'm going to make their life easier by sharing my expertise and being the instructor for them. Now, where can I find students? You can post your classes are opening on your social media, so let people know. You can even have like a link on your Instagram to when classes are, when they can sign up for them. You can send an email, so if you've been growing an email list and start growing that now. <laughs> if you are going independent, if you are starting to build a brand of your own, start an email list, okay? I have a video here that goes over email list and why that is so important. Yes, go watch that video and I'll put it in the iCard here as well. So make sure that you have an email list because that is the backbone to your business. You can let them know if there's a discount. You can email and let them know when classes open up. Maybe you're opening up one-on-one, -on -one. maybe you have group sessions, whatever it may be, email list. Start it now, yesterday, go. Go. <laughs> Let your audience know in your weekly content. So I always recommend using platform for weekly content. This is how you build your brand. You offer free content. So it could be on YouTube, it could be a podcast, it could be a blog, but that is how you're going to generate organic traffic because you're teaching them, you're letting them have snippets and teaching them essentially what you teach in your paid for programs. However, you're giving them some foundational work for free because then they know, hey, this teacher is an expert in this and I had these results. I'm definitely going to sign up for their coaching sessions. I'm definitely going to sign up for their independent teaching. They won't call it that, but. <laughs> you could schedule a free consultation or a free discovery call. So a lot of times if you are starting with a discovery call, maybe you find your clients or your future students on LinkedIn. Maybe you're helping business owners with a specific skill. Maybe you're helping them with their content creation. Maybe you're helping them with social media. So this could lead into to helping and teaching and coaching adults. So if you're helping them, then maybe you're going to have a free consultation or discovery call on Zoom that not only are they seeing if you're a good fit for them, but you're deciding are they a good fit for what I teach. And don't be afraid to tell people no. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I don't think we're a good fit to work together. I wish you the best. 
because remember, you don't want to help everyone, you wanna help this specific person. You wanna help a very specific problem and a specific niche because then you are the go-to for that. So don't try and solve everyone's problems, just solve this one problem. The final one that you could do is paid advertising. So if you know how to do Instagram or Facebook or YouTube ads, this could be another form where you could market for your platform. You could also be in direct messages on Facebook. If you're sharing weekly content, you're giving value. Always, always give before you ask. So you always give free content like I'm doing in this video, giving you free content, and then you can let them know about your paid for services or what your offer is. Always, always give first. Now if you are thinking, I am very interested in building my own brand, on teaching on my own, on marketing my own services and what I have to offer, then most definitely check the description box. I have links below of my program for building a brand. It is called Beyond Teaching Online and it is only open for a limited time. So so check the dates, check the link below because you do wanna get in there when the doors are open. I love, love, love helping online teachers to build a brand and to see, just like to go after their dreams and to see the results. Many of them were able to pay off the course, the entire program within the three months. Like they paid for the whole thing and they continued to grow income wise. So not only did they get the skills and build their brand, but immediately they were making money on their brand. That's just such a cool thing that is so rewarding for me as an instructor to help other teachers to replicate that same system. And so I am just so proud of my own teacher students that have stepped off that ledge, that have gone on that solo flight. Ah! <laughs> They're going, I'm going anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. They jumped off. They're flying and it's been so rewarding and I hope that I can help you out as well. All right guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not, if you wanna see more videos about building a brand, teaching online and being just totally awesome, being the best version of you. I hope to see you guys later. Bye. I don't have a classroom, but that's okay cause I can film in here. It's winter, it's winter, it's winter, winter, winter. Do do do, do do do.